Lego collectible minifigures started in 2010 and started doing licensed figures in 2014. And it's a good way to get characters that otherwise may never have been made into Lego. In this video, I'm going over my top 20 favorite licensed collectible minifigures. Number 20 is Professor Phileas Flitwick from Harry Potter Series 1 in 2018. And there's nothing too special about this figure. I just think this is a cool background character to get and it really looks like the character with that nice hairpiece. And it comes with a wand and a megaphone. Number 19 is Huntress from the DC series in 2020. And Huntress isn't a character I have much attachment to, but this figure does look cool. It's nice to have another DC character we haven't gotten before, and I like the purple and black color scheme. It's also a really detailed figure with dual molded legs, printing on the arms, a nice use for that hairpiece, and I like that she uses a crossbow. Number 18 is Ernesto de la Cruz from the Disney 100 series in 2023. And this is a character based on Coco, which is a movie I've only seen once a while ago. But I think this figure is good and it's a cool character design with the white outfit and the skeleton look. There's also some cool printing for the guitar. Number 17 is Dr. Facilier, also from the Disney 100 series in 2023. And this character is based on The Princess and the Frog, which was a movie I liked when I was younger but I haven't seen in a while. I think this character design is pretty cool and this was a good villain in the movie. He has a good looking outfit with a nice printed hat and it comes with a printed card and a cane that I think could have looked better. Number 16 is Clock King from the Lego Batman movie series 2 in 2018. This is a nice figure to get for another Batman villain but what I really like about this is the use of the gingerbread head for the clock which looks great and it comes with two spears to represent the hands on the clock. Number 15 is Flash from the DC series in 2020, and this is based on the original Flash, aka Jay Garrick. And it's nice to get this character in minifig form. He has a cool helmet and great printing for even the sides of his legs. And it comes with lightning to attach to the back to show his speed. Number 14 is Tropical Joker from the Lego Batman movie series 2 in 2018. And what's neat about this one is that it's based on an outfit from The Killing Joke and there's even a reference to it with the camera accessory. Besides that, this is just a nice outfit with some cool colors. It also comes with a popsicle and a green duck floaty. Number 13 is Joker from the DC series in 2020. And this figure is based on the Joker design from The Dark Knight Returns. The white suit looks good and is pretty unique for Joker. I also like the use of that hairpiece that I think works really well for Joker in general, and I wish it was used more for him. And it comes with cotton candy and a Joker card. Number 12 is Percival Graves from Harry Potter series 1 in 2018 and I just really like the look of his outfit. It also has a nice hair piece with gray on the sides and an extra head and hair to change him into Grindelwald. And for an accessory, it comes with a wand. Number 11 is King Tut from the Lego Batman movie series one in 2017. And this is another really detailed figure and nice to get another Batman villain, even though he's a more obscure one. This figure could also just be used outside of the Batman universe as just King Tut and it comes with a snake and a staff. Number 10 is Tin Man from the Lego Movie 2 series in 2019. And this is my favorite of the Wizard of Oz minifigures. I like the silver design with all the printing on the arms and legs, and it comes with a silver axe and a heart piece. Number 9 is Alistair Mad-Eye Moody from the Harry Potter series 1 in 2018. I really like his outfit and design with all the buckles, the long coat, the one silver leg, and that hair piece. It comes with an extra head and hair to turn him into Barty Crouch Jr, which I like the option mainly because I love David Tennant. Besides that, it comes with the staff, a wand, and the polyjuice potion. There's also a newer version of this figure which might be better, but I still really like this figure. Number 8 is Cyborg from the DC series in 2020, and this is based on his first appearance. This is another really detailed figure with dual molded arms and legs and side arm and leg printing, with a new helmet piece. And it comes with a purple chain, which references the purple chain on his first appearance comic cover. Number 7 is Captain Carter from the Marvel Studios series in 2021. It's another really detailed figure with a cool new hairpiece. And the legs are really useful to make a regular Captain America figure a little better. And it comes with a shield and the Tesseract. Number 6 is Professor Hugo Strange from the Lego Batman movie series 2 in 2018. It's nice to get him as a minifigure and this is a really good figure of him with that beard piece that works really well. And it comes with two Erlenmeyer flasks in two different colors. Number 5 is Zombie Captain America from the Marvel Studios series in 2021. I really like zombie minifigures and this is a really good one. And as a zombie fan I just think this is a really cool idea for a zombie version of Cap with the rugged look. And it comes with a scratched up shield. Number 4 is Zombie Hunter Spidey from the Marvel Studios series in 2021. And this one is one of the most detailed Spider-Man figures and probably my favorite. And it comes with a spiderweb and Doctor Strange's cape, but I think it looks good without the cape. 
Number three is Commissioner Gordon from the Lego Batman movie series in 2017. And this is my favorite Commissioner Gordon figure, and the most detailed. And I just really like the look of his outfit for this figure. It comes with a wanted poster for Joker and a walkie-talkie. Number two is Batman from the DC series in 2020. And this is based on his first appearance. And as a big Batman fan, this one had to be on the list. It's a more unique Batman figure with that cowl, and it's just a nice figure to have as a Batman fan. And it comes with a blue battering. And number one is Captain America from the Marvel Studios series in 2021. And this is based on Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is a show I actually liked. This is one of the most detailed collectible minifigures ever. It's also my favorite Sam Wilson minifigure, and the wings look better than the other versions too. It's just a really great minifigure, and it comes with a shield and a detachable red wing on the back. So those were my top 20 favorite LEGO licensed collectible minifigures. There were some fantastic figures from different themes. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time. Goodbye.